Hi everybody, welcome back. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at our particle creation screen and we're going to look at the the right hand side of the particle creation screen. This is this is where your variability comes in. Um, this is where you're going to get just enough randomness to um, make your particles not look uniform or like the same particle over and over. Um, it gives a little bit more realism. Now, um, and we're going to do the, we're going to check this out briefly. Actually, it's going to be a lot more briefly than making a whole screen for it. Um, we're going to do it in relation to our particle shaders. Now, um, before we go any further, just know that um, uh, this is information that I've kind of gleaned on trial and error. I haven't been able to find a whole lot of documentation on it. Um, I've seen some pretty good examples, but you know, really, there's not a whole lot of information. So, uh, that being said, this is information this is uh, not the de facto stuff, so just FYI. So <clears throat> this is your um, these are your your particle shaders in action. Uh, they're affecting the uh, luminance values of of our particles by their age, their size, their speed, their mass, and their order. Um, they're changing the particles just enough to um, they're changing the particles enough to uh, give pretty good effects um, I have a, a gradient that I threw in here this is changing the gradient changes by the age uh, that's kind of a global thing um, size this has been I, I tweaked the values around a little bit in the right hand side and got a little random stuff happening here um, speed it's pretty straightforward. Uh, each of these particles is affected um, just slightly. Just you can tell that they're coming out just slightly faster and slower than the other ones. Uh, mass, a little bit of randomness here. Uh, these guys start falling a little bit faster. And order is uh, is another global one. Uh, it it sends the gradient all down the um, down the uh, particles. Now, uh, kind of the purpose of this tutorial is actually to kind of take a little bit closer look at these guys. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at what a particle shader is. Your particle shader is basically a gradient value between zero and either a hundred. It's it's one of three things: either zero and two fifty five, which is the standard color grade uh, luminance on uh, in any uh, color palette and uh, or it could be um, 0 to 1 which is uh, Carrera does that in a, in a couple of cases or 0 to 100 which is the color pickers um, the color pickers uh, range 0 to 100 but um, you notice that the the lower value the dark value is set at one side and the higher value is set on the other side and your luminance changes, you know, slightly because of it. Now, um, what can you do with it? Why would you want to have? Why would you need that information? Well, it, um, knowing that knowing that there is a luminance value and that there's a, a numerical va a numeric value uh, tied to the luminance, um, that's going to throw a little bit of randomness to its corresponding area in the particle oh, in the particle emitter you if you um, put a value in here for size let's this is the size over here this gray one let's bring that out a little bit and let's kind of jack with the size a little bit let's do zero to one inch or right, let's go one inch Actually, that didn't change. That didn't change too much. Let's do zero. Let's see what it does. And you notice that the shader changed just slightly. And now we got. Put that to thirteen. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Now this only happens in the size one, but if you type a higher value. Um, it'll just go back to the default. the The highest size can be only be one, or five, or whatever. 
type of five in there. And that changes a little bit. Bring it back to one. And start all over and check this out. They get huge. And that see that little bit of randomness in there just kind of makes the make all the particles just a little bit different. Um I'm just gonna take that out. Wow. And there we go. Back to square one. And that's it, close up. So that's pretty much what your particle shaders are and what they do. But let me show you a little thing. Since we're messing with size here a little bit, let me show you one little thing that just kind of <laughs> takes it completely a different direction. But um, it has nothing to do with this. But if you want to have a little bit more control over your size, what you can do is click on this little tab right here. And uh, this will help affect the size of your particle over its lifetime. Yeah. Go from big to big, little, little to big. There we go. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, these guys right here. This is your uh, age, size, speed, mass, and order. Um, there are real powerful elements in your particle uh, in your particle toolbox and before before we ch before I check out um, let me just say that I in the process of, of researching all this I ran across a really cool t cool tutorial um, Mark Brimmer has a site uh, uh, Carrera Dark Arts there's a part of his site that's called Carrera Dark Arts and uh, there's a really good um, tutorial on the particle shaders, how they work, how they can work. Um, this mixes them up a little bit. You can uh, you can mix and match them. They are shaders, so you can change their values based on each other um, and kind of get some really cool stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, go check it out. It's Mark Brimmer's site. Uh, the name should be, com the uh, Earl should be coming up uh, right about now. So anyway, um, that's it for this time. I'm Kreitman. And I'll talk to you again later. Bye.